Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode here of the player career mode. Now, um, as this episode goes up, I believe I should have enough episodes up that uh, you guys should know by now that I messed up the Aberdeen career mode. Um, I saved over it with the Lazio career mode in the last Lazio episode that I recorded. And so now we're down to two career modes, which is honestly fine. I mean, we're in June of this point of the year. Um, you know, we only have a few more months of this FIFA. The new one should be getting announced soon. Um, obviously more pressing matters have kind of taken over the world, uh, more important matters in video games. And we're kind of um, letting everybody voice, uh, have a voice for change instead of moving forward with the gaming world, which again, totally, absolutely fine. It's how the world should be. We need to be moving towards change, but we're not gonna get into all that today. Today, we're gonna be getting into a little bit of player career mode, man. Today, we're gonna be going up against Manchester United, who is currently above us in the table, and then we'll be back in the Europa League, this time against Ghent, um, a team that we've uh, obviously played a fair few amount of times against in this career mode specifically, um, and then, Next episode will be going up against Newcastle and Watford. Again, it's all, it all kind of comes down to um, how many of these games we can actually play. Now, I was reading the comments and a few people have already said that they would like me to try and play with the full squad and see if that fixes the problem. I was kind of trying to steer away from this because I didn't want too many career modes of me just controlling the whole team. I really, really enjoy having a player career mode. Um, because it's nice to just not have to control everything. Hopefully my game stops lagging here in a second. I mean, you're fully offside, brother. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. If it fixes it, maybe this is what we do. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys cool with me playing all home matches as the full team? Again, who knows if this is even going to work. It would be really good for me because I, obviously, as an Arsenal fan, really like this stadium. And it, it, it hurts that I'm not playing here for the majority of the season. You know, bar, bar cup matches in Europa League and things like that. But um, we'll see. Also, just as we're loading up into this game, I did want to apologize for all the mic issues I've been having over the past like month. For whatever reason, my mic is just kind of crapped out on me, um, which is whatever. But we're getting the mic replaced here in the next couple days, so hopefully that will help our issue. I look like I'm going to be invisible. I am. So... Um, I mean, it's fine. I can still play as the full team. Um, getting myself involved is probably not going to happen. And honestly, I don't know, man. I feel like the team's good enough to play without me. You're offside, Malish. Idiot. Yeah, it's so frustrating, man. Fingers crossed, you know, gameplay aside and all the other crap aside with FIFA and them not making many changes year to year, I just hope they fix the damn glitches. Honestly, like, I, I, don't get me wrong, I don't want another year of a FIFA like this where I don't really enjoy it and I, I make a million and one mistakes 24-7 that I shouldn't. Um, but there are obviously some game mechanics and things like that as well that I don't really enjoy in this game. But all that to say, I really hope uh, more than anything we can get to a FIFA that, uh, oh what a tackle, I ain't even mad Chief. Get to a FIFA where um, it's, it's enjoyable and there's no glitches, but more importantly just no glitches. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. See this is what my worry was. And don't get me wrong, it's not me making excuses. 100% my fault that we just conceded that goal. Um, I've never played with this full team before. Um, or this collection of defenders. And that could come back and bite me in the ass at some point, honestly. Defensively, at least. Offensively, realistically, I shouldn't have too many problems. This is just an overall good team. But, again, we'll see. Alish? Oh, I hit the post! Oh, it hit the post. That should have been a goal. It's like a whole different game playing with this team. I'm going to be honest. I haven't played a single career mode with Arsenal this year. Even like off camera. Which is weird. Not that this is obviously the traditional Arsenal team, but still. We'll take a corner. 
No, 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 no defense. Oh, thank God. End of the first half. 1-0. Can I sub myself out? Is that possible? I cannot. The game will automatically do subs for me though, right? Although I don't I highly doubt they're gonna take me out because I'm not sprinting. Mbappe actually has full stamina as well. Go Mbappe. Smash it. Oh my god, fuck off De Gea, dude. Alright, Declan Rice is coming out, Ganduzi's coming in, Fernandez is coming out as well. Mbappe? Oh. Can I win that? Oh you beautiful man. Win that? Wow, Salisu, what an animal. Mbappe. Oh, Saitada. He hit the post, dude. Man. I cannot believe we haven't scored in this damn game, dude. Into Torreira. Into Pulisic. Oh, I wanted that pass back. There was no space. It, well, I was already set in my mind what I wanted to do there. Did I just get subbed off? I think I did. I did. Who came on for me? Bolagun. Balagun? Balagun. Oh. I feel like there was a better center attacking mid we could have just brought on for me, but that's alright. Who knows? I haven't played with this guy before, so. Oh, get that ball down to Pulley. Let's run it, Pulley. Let's freaking run it, bro. Get it! Balagun! The sub for me comes on the odds, bro. What are the odds? We play as a full team for the first time in this career mode. And we don't score a goal until my character comes off the field. What is that kind of irony there? Pass to Mbappe. He shot it off Maguire. And it fell perfectly for Balagun, who was for some reason in the box right there. But we love to see it. I was honestly looking for him at the top of the box, but that's all right. 1-1, one, one, finally, dude. De Gea has been saving so many shots. Probably didn't even deserve to concede that one, but... Honestly, probably deserved to concede one of the earlier ones, so I don't really feel bad about it. Torreira has been a madman in defense. Along with Kolozniak. Down to Thauvin. La last run of the game. Get there. Oh, Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw barely got a leg there. I don't know if we would have scored that, but it was a good chance nonetheless. Dude, what a shite goal for us to concede. I don't know why Medley didn't take a step forward. We could have done better, though. 6.7 rating from Alish because I did not pass myself the ball like at all that game. 81 minutes played. I think I did well passing. It's just I wasn't on the ball, so it didn't really amount to anything. Um, but that'll work. So let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys okay with me doing games like that? Or would you rather me just simulate the games because I shouldn't be playing at the full team? Just let me know in the comment section down below. I'll follow whatever you guys want me to do. I don't really mind either way. Obviously, it gives me more opportunities to play at the Emirates Stadium. But it also makes the series go by faster whenever I simulate those games. So again, let me know in the comment section down below. Obviously, we can get through uh, the season a lot faster if we do it that way. So um, let's go ahead and hop into this next game. Obviously, we're just going to be playing as ourselves in the Europa League here, away from home against Ghent, who we are currently tied for first with. Mbappe and Malish both 95 rated. Pulisic 87 rated now. He was 86 when we signed him, right? Maybe not. Um, Thauvin, Torreira, Declan Rice, Kolozniak, Salisu, Medley, Montiel, and Leno in goal. Same team as the weekend. Let's hop into it and see if we can get an type of species all right here we go start of the game let's get it going always excited to play in the Europa League definitely still wish it was the Champions League but that is for next season hopefully we can win a trophy here with um with Mbappe uh PSG has not won the uh has not won the oh dude it's actually kind of messy with my head because I'm so used I I just got used to playing with the full squad it's going to take me a second to mentally readjust here. Um, Mbappe never won the Champions League with PSG. I don't even think they got close. I don't think they were ever even in the final in this career mode. So hopefully we can win the Europa League. 
with Mbappe, you would think we would be able to. 295 rated players. So, um, absolutely the best team in the competition, or should be. Declan Rice. Declan, you gotta score those, son. I, I shouldn't have told him to shoot. I should not have told him to shoot. Mbappe, come on, son. Oh, pulley, please. Thank you. Damn. I meant to take that pass with my right foot, not my left. I don't know if it would have gotten there anyways, but it's what I meant to do. Okay, Thawvin, just let him run by you. That's cool, bro. Dude, I have such a bad habit with right bumper. Because right bumper just, you know, obviously changed this year. And mentally, like, I do it so often, man. I do it so often. I've finally gotten better at not doing it, but it still happens. Nice ball, brother. No, Mbappe, why'd you give that back so quickly? I almost had that run, dude. I've, like, mentally gotten myself to hold down left bumper instead of right bumper. You know, left bumper keeps me in position anyways. So it works out. Nice ball pulley. I got the pace for this. I'm taking the shot. I shouldn't have taken the shot. That was a really bad shot, actually. Like I'm Ash. Give me that. Oh, dude. Brothers. Still got poor positioning while holding left bumper. Thanks, dog. Oh, what a pass from Mbappe, dude. What an absolute pass from Mbappe. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I did say I did want to assist more this season, but if Mbappe is going to give me a pass like that, that's a goal every day of the week, baby. Let's go, boys. 1-0 up. Probably deserved it earlier in this game, but I did kind of mess up that last shot. We decided to go with the... Um, what's the word? Driven, uh, low driven. There we go. My brain's working again. Low driven. Man, I tell you what, the main reason I'm, I'm excited for the new FIFA to come out is because I'm ex I want to get back into streaming FIFA. I just, I, I just can't do it in this FIFA, man. I just can't do it. I was gonna stream some pro clubs, but my, uh, my PlayStation isn't set up properly for like audio and stuff. So you guys wouldn't get our voice chat. Unless I did Discord. Which for some reason, some of my peeps don't use Discord. Thank you, Pooley. I'm just gonna let this run down for a sec. Can I get that in Mbappe? Oh, dude, that is a lanky defender. We might be able to get one more chance here. Was Pulley on side? I was actually trying to get that Mbappe, but Pulley ran for it. I don't even know if he was on side, but whatever. End of the first half. That is A-OK. -okay. Only 1-0. Definitely want some more goals in the second half. Great job scoring your fifth goal for the season. That's probably the longest it's taken me to get five goals. Ah, uh, actually, when we first joined Bazak Sahir, dude, that goal drought was tough, especially from coming from the MLS where I was scoring like every game. Don't you dare let that even be a decent shot. All right, we're coming out of the game. 74th minute, number 28, Willick. See, I don't know why Willick didn't come in for me last game, but whatever. It ended up working out, so we will take it. Um, hopefully we ended up winning that game. I'm sure we did, but we'll check the calendar. We ended up winning 3-0, so that's good. They scored two more after I came off. I was kind of getting a little too cheeky there at the end of that game, and I just couldn't get it into the back of the net because I was trying too much. Um, currently, this is how the Premier League table is looking after nine games. We are in third place. Next episode, we're going to be going against Newcastle United, who is currently in, in fourth on 22 points, tied with uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. Um... Chelsea, top of the table, 24 goal difference. They're killing it this season. That money they got for the Pulisic deal is coming up pretty uh, big for them. Uh, Manchester United, 23 points. Uh, of course, we did just draw them in the last game that we played. We've only scored 17 goals this season, which is pretty freaking poor for having me, Pulisic, Mbappe, and Thauvin up top. But it is what it is. 
we'll continue uh, growing as a squad and getting better as we go. But in the next episode, like I said, we are going to be playing against Newcastle United. And then we'll be playing, I believe, in the uh, Carabao Cup as well. So um, definitely check out the next episode. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Is it my fault?